Somebody stole my car! Hey, 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 calm down. Dean. I have calmed down. Somebody stole my car! <laughs> Dean! Whoa, Dean. Hey, 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 hey. Dean, do not put yourself in an earlier grave. Oh, it's her! <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Tiffany and welcome back to my channel. If you're enjoying my supernatural content, please remember to like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon as next week because that alerts you when a new video has been posted. Also check out the description below because you can find links to the supernatural playlist. You can also find links to my other socials so you can drop me some support over there as well. And I need you to leave your comments in the comment section. Guys, we're doing everything that I've just listed. This lets YouTube know that you're enjoying my content, therefore they will push it out more. So, the shout out for this uh, video goes to Echo Wall. Thank you for taking the time out to comment on my last video. Much, much appreciated. Oh guys, I know it's been a hot minute. Uh, and the reason I'm gonna tell you the reason why is just not me not wanting to react to Supernatural. I just or any of my TV shows because you, if you watch both Supernatural and Lucifer, you realize that both of them have taken a pause. It's just that I didn't have the time because I was still going into my um, probation period with my job, which I've now been signed off on. And it was just taking up so many times. So the only thing that I could record is my animes, which are just like 30 minute episodes. And uh, to, 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 um, to get it ready for YouTube is much shorter than doing a TV show, especially close to our length TV show. So it was just me just, just taking the easy part and just doing animes and just um, editing them and just putting them through and just leaving TV shows on the back burner but because of my sign off I should have more time because now I am no longer scrutinized I'm no longer being um, managed and I could do my own workload and as long as I do the appointed amount I can just get on with life so we are back um, last episode we had the uh, I think it was the fairy tale one. Yeah, it was the fairy tale one. And we also had a little ending where Sam went to the demon, the crossroad demon, to try to get out, him out, Dean out of his contract. And he learned that the contract is no longer being held by, let's say, worker cross more demons it's being held by their boss and he's not letting go of that contract because it's it's a Winchester it's a Dean it's like which will cause him more which will give him the most satisfaction and the most satisfaction is making Sam I guess worry get upset that he's gonna lose his um, brother but mostly because it's like there's nothing you could trade for a Winchester soul, basically. And the reason why he's not going to take Sam's deal is, well, it's a Winchester, Winchester. No, this is going to hurt you more the fact that you can't get your brother's soul. So there you go. I'm going to take the brother's soul. So we have that. So I don't know what Sam is going to do now. Now that he knows that he can't... Uh, get his con Dean's contract is he just gonna let it go let him unfortunately have to die but we'll see but he did shoot that across demon he's like pop I would just kill you just because I could kill you but it is what it is I've done the same anyway so we're going on to episode uh, 6 of season 3 and it's called Red Sky at Morning and that being said let's jump into this episode The Flying Dutchman? What in God's blazes? Yeah, I'm going home. 
I'm going home. Run your ass back home. You see that how people die? They don't like to run. Away. What's gonna happen because she drank the water? She's on oh god. It gonna drown her in it. Lord. 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 You see, I wanna go back in. Right here, noise, I'm coming up. Where does soap come from? Oh, shit! Scared the crap out of me there. Did he so tell him? waiting since Maple Springs. You got something to tell me? It's not your birthday. It's not, it's your birthday. I can cry Happy for him. Oh, yeah, Damn, what's Pearl? No idea what you're talking There's about. There's a bullet missing from the cult. Ah. You tell me how that happened. After her, didn't you? The crossroads demon, after I told you not to. Yeah, well. You could have gotten yourself killed. I didn't. She was a smart ass. <laughs> she was, actually. So what is that? Does that mean I'm out of my deal? No. Don't you think I might have mentioned that little fact to him? Someone else holds the contract. Who? She wouldn't say. Well, we should find out who. Really? Our best lead would be the crossroads demon. Oh, wait a minute. It's not fine. No, it's not. Hell, I'm not gonna apologize for it, all right? That's a fair point. But I don't understand. I already went over all this with the other detectives. Right, yes, uh, but see, we're with the sheriff's department, not the police department. So, Mrs. Case. <laughs> uh, please. Ms. Case. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. All right, Cougar, calm yourself. Okay. Your uh, daughter or somebody you just know just died. Calm Ms. yourself. Case, um, you were the one who found your niece. Correct? Oh, niece, okay. I came home. She was in the shower. Drown. So the coroner says. Now you tell me, how can someone drown in a shower? How would you describe Sheila's behavior? Wait a minute. You're working with Alex, aren't you? Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Alex Get up. has been such a comfort. But I'm sorry. I thought the case was solved. Wait, we were talking about your niece. Well, yes. Who's Alex? Sheila mentioned something quite strange before she died. She said she saw a boat. A boat? Yes, one minute it was there, then it was gone. Alex thinks it could be a ghost ship. Well, um... Uh, who is this Alex? Could be. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, <laughs> hey, you might <laughs> you might come into some money. I'm just saying, <laughs> you might get some money. Hey, do what you gotta do. What a crazy old bra. Why? Because she believes in ghosts. <laughs> Look at you sticking up for your girlfriend, you cougar hound. Bite me. Hey, not if she bites me. I was just gonna say that joke too. So who's this Alex? We got another player in town. It's not the first one that's been sighted around here either. Really? Yeah, every 37 years, like clockwork. Really? Vanishing. Three mass clipper ship out in the bay. What's the lore? Well, there are apparitions of old wrecks sighted all over the world. The SS Violet, the Griffin, the Flying Dutchman. I know the Flying Dutchman. Or Death Omens. I got an ID the boat. It shouldn't be too hard. I mean, how many three mass clipper ships have wrecked off the coast? Um, Check that too, actually. A lot. Over 100. Because look at the area that you're in. Wow. This looks like a boat wow. mm -hmm. thing city. Is that a thing? Uh, where's the car? where we parked the car, right? Did you put money in the meter? Where's my car? Did you feed the meter? Yes, I fed the meter. And somebody stole my car! Hey, 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 calm down. Dean. I am calm down. Somebody stole my car. <laughs> Dean. Whoa, Dean. Hey, 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 hey. Dean, do not put yourself in an earlier grave. Is that yours? Oh, it's her. Okay. I'm sorry. I had that car towed. You what? <laughs> Well, it was in a towway zone. No, it wasn't. It was when I finished with it. Hi, Hi Maggie. Maggie! You're Alex. You're working with that old lady. There's a lot of lovely old women like Gert up and down the eastern seaboard. I sell them charms, perform seances so they can commune with their dead cats. And let me guess, it's all a con, none of it's real. The comfort I provide them is very real. How do you sleep at night? 
nicely. On silk sheets, rolling naked in money. <laughs> what a really picture. Sam. I'd expect the attitude from him, but you? You shot me. I barely grazed you. You do know what's going on around here. This ghost ship thing, it is real. I'm aware. Thanks for telling Gert the case wasn't solved, by the way. It isn't. She didn't know that. Now the old bag stopped payment and she's demanding some real answers. <sighs> Look, just stay out of my way before you cause any... I did say we'll see her back before, again. I'd get to that car if I were you. Before they find the arsenal in the trunk. Can I shoot her? Please. Not in public. <laughs> and yeah, that's right, not in public. Oh, Lord. Hello? So, if you're by yourself, why would you say hello? You should know that nobody's there. Should be in your house. Ah, oh, hell no. So, don't even go there. Just go out the door. People amuse me. Do not put your hand in there. At least you put your head in there. Oh! He said that he drowned, but I don't understand how. I am so sorry for your loss, Mr. Morrow. Now, if you could just tell me one more time about the ship your brother saw. Ma'am, I think this man's been through quite enough. You should go. You already had to deal with that. They're like roaches. Your brother saw a ship. Yeah, that's right. Did he tell you what it looked like? It was, uh, like the old Yankee Clippers. That's a lot of detail for a ship your brother saw. My brother and I were night diving. I saw the ship, too. Oh, you're about to die. Come yeah. On. Um, all right, well, we'll be in touch. Thank you. You got your car back? You really want to come near me when I got a loaded gun in my hands? Oh, now, mind your blood pressure. That guy back there saw the ship. And? And He's gonna die, time. moron. So we have to save him. How sweet. You think this is funny? He's cannon fodder. He can't be saved in time, and you know it. Well, see, we have souls, so we're gonna try. Yeah, well, I'm actually gonna find the ship and put an end to this. But you have fun. Hey, Bella, how'd you get like this, huh? What, did Daddy not give you enough hugs or something? <laughs> I don't know. Your Daddy give you enough? We help people. Come on, you do this out of vengeance and obsession. Yeah, You're a stone from being a serial killer. I, on the other hand, I get paid to do a job and I do it. So you tell me, which is healthier? None. Bella, why don't you just leave? You're 0 for 2. Bang up job so far. Anything good? No, not really. They inherited their father's real estate fortune six years ago. How much? 112 million. Oh! I mean, nice, clean, above board. Something's it's wrong. See the ship. Hey, you! I think we've been made. Sir, calm down, please. You guys aren't cops. Not just like that. Not, not in that crappy car. Whoa, hey, no need to get nasty. Look, we think you're in danger. From who? If you just settle down, we'll talk about it. Look, you guys just stay away from me. Hey, you moron, we're trying to help you. That uh, can't be good. No. Get the salt gun. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What a way to die. Peter. Sam! Okay, what's the reason it's coming? Like, just because I see your ship, you come right after me? You can't save everybody, Sam. Yeah, right. So, so what, you feel better now, or what? Oh, shit. You gotta understand. Just lately, I feel like I can't save anybody. Now, how are y'all getting this building? No, not the witching. Do 
dear God. Are you actually squatting? How'd things go last night with Peter? That well, huh? If you say I told you so, I swear to God I'll start swinging. <laughs> I think the three of us should have a heart to heart. That's assuming you have a heart. Dean, please, come bearing gifts. Such as? I've ID'd the ship. It's the Espirito Santo, a merchant sailing vessel. In 1859, a sailor was accused of treason. He was tried aboard ship in a kangaroo court and hanged. He was 37. Which would explain a 37 year cycle. Okay. You were shot, Tack. Okay, unnecessary. Yeah. That's him. Mm. You saw him? Yeah, that's him, except he was missing a hand. His right hand. How'd you know? The sailor's body was cremated, but not before they cut off his hand to make a hand of glory. A hand of glory? What? I think I got one of those at the end of my time massage last night. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dean, the right hand of a hanged man is a serious occult object. It's very powerful. So they say. And officially counts as remains. But still, none of this explains why the ghost is choosing these victims. I'll tell you why. Who cares? Find the hand, burn it. Oh, girl, you gotta also know. Because know exactly where the hand is. And she needs you where? to steal it. At the Sea Pines Museum. There you go. It's a macabre bit of maritime history. <laughs> Museums are so of? weird. Not only do you have so stolen long. artifacts in there, there, but you have dead bodies in there too. So not okay with All right, dude. We could be we could be Bruce Wayne or James Bond. Which one? Monkey suit. I know he's gonna say something like that. All right, get it out. I look ridiculous. Not exactly the word I'd use. What? When this is over, we should really have angry sex. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not him contemplating this. Don't objectify me. <laughs> you really did. You're the last person to say that. <laughs> what is he eating? Are you chewing gum? Oh. Try to behave as if you've lived this life before. Really? Oh. <laughs> that, that actor played uh, Officer Water Lab so bad. This will get their tongues wagging. Eh? Uh oh. Uh oh. Just remember, we're on business. All right, Cougar. Oh, Lord. She's blooming. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't touch his ass yet. You know, uh, could you excuse me for a moment? Great, thanks. Exactly how long do you expect me to entertain my date? As long as it takes. Look, security all over this place, all right? This is an uncrashable party without Gert's invitations. So we can crash anything, Dean. Yeah, that is true. This is easier and it's a lot more entertaining. I want all the details in the morning. Oh, my gosh. Uh oh. Hey, hey, Gert, come. Rust. My girl got it in blue. Uh 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 wait 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 <laughs> private security? I don't think so. Look at the way they're standing, they're pros. Probably state troopers moonlighting. What do you suggest? I'm thinking. Interesting how the legend is so much more than the man. No oh, damn. Got any bright ideas? I'm all ears. <sighs> honey, honey, are you all right? I, uh, my wife has a severe shellfish allergy. There, there's no crab in there. No, it's, sir. No. Yeah, dude. What seems to be the trouble? Ah, uh, champagne. My wife, she's a lightweight when it comes to the sauce. Is there somewhere I can lay her down so she gets her sea legs back? Follow me. Right. Thank you. Come on, you mush. <clears throat> you think she's a pain in the ass now? Try living with her. Thank you very much. Maybe next time give me a little heads up with your plan. I didn't want you thinking. You're not very good at that. Oh, shit. Room 235. It's in a locked glass case wired for alarm. I'm sure that won't be a problem. 
This is so childish. Where's Alex and your friends? They're missing a great party. I'm, uh, I'm sure they're entertaining themselves. Oh, naughty. Then I guess we'll just have to end. I was waiting for the butt grab. <laughs> uh, you know, um, Mrs. Case. I Miss Sorry. Case. Ms. Case, there I, you I go. don't want to give you the wrong idea. Call me Bert. Uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> my late husband. Ah, that's what she said. Shy too. Yeah. Hello, Dad. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> mm, you're just firm all over. <laughs> Poor Sam. Sam always in this. Ugh. He's gonna trigger the alarm, ain't he? Sir? Ma'am? Everything all right? Hi. Feeling better, I see? Yes, but... Yes. With your gun with the room? Well, not yet. Could you have a few more minutes? Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> wow. George, uh, nature call. Uh-huh. Yeah, thanks for looking after my wife. Oh, she's being looked after, all right. <laughs> oh, he thinks she's with him. <laughs> Any trouble? Nothing I couldn't handle. The hand? <laughs> she's gonna... No. no. Oh, at least you're bright. It might be more inconspicuous in my box. Nice try. Oh, good, gone. How's the investigation going? These things take time. We're talking about the Warren brothers' deaths. Hmm. Strange. The music is connected to Sheila's. Yeah, yeah, we think so. I think they had it coming in a biblical sort of way. Okay, what did they do? What do you mean? You know about their father, a whispered. Oh, Jesus. Old people say that the old man didn't die of natural causes. And now, rumor is they the killed him. Did it? Hmm? Nothing was ever proved, but uh, people still whisper. Okay, okay, house. okay. Uh, so, so did, did Sheila have any connection to them? Well, none that I know of. Did Sheila have any kind of tragedy in her life? Yes. As a matter of fact, there was a car accident when she was a teenager. Who did that kill? Uh, her car flipped over. Uh, well, she was okay, but uh, her cousin Brian was killed. Why? Is that important? Be a nice time? It takes the life off. <laughs> Once me. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to take that into the cold shower. Great idea. Extra cool. I see. See you at the cemetery. You stink like sex. Oh, yeah? No, is Sam going to see? You got it, right? Tell me I didn't get groped all night by Mrs. Havisham for nothing. I got it. Mrs. Who? Never mind, just let me see it. He got robbed, didn't he? Of course. Now, how she get a do? I'm gonna kill her. Uh uh, don't run to us. Take your lick. Oh, no. Take your lick. Don't run to us. Not gonna kill her. I think slow torture is the way to go. Damn, look. You gotta relax. Relax? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll relax. Hey, she got another one over on us. You. Damn. <laughs> what? I mean, I mean, she got one over on you, not us. Well, damn. <laughs> Thank 
Thank you. The Very somatics nice. was not Very necessary. Helpful. I don't let her take a lick. Let me explain that. I sold it. I had a buy lined up with Miss Elliot at Bristol. So the whole reason for us going to the charity ball was. I needed a cover. You were convenient. Go buy her, just go buy it back. It's halfway across the ocean. I can't get it back in time. In time for what? What's going on with you, Bella? You look like you've seen a ghost. She did. I saw the ship. You what? Well, you know, I, I knew you were an immoral, thieving, con artist bitch, but just when I thought my opinion of you couldn't get any lower. What are you talking about? We figured out the spirit's motive. This is the captain of our ship. The one who hung our ghost boy. So? So they were brothers. Oh, if so you kill family. Spirit Cain and Abel. Our spirit, he's going after a very specific kind of target. People who've spilled their own family's blood. Now, who did you People spill? Like Sheila, who killed her cousin in a car accident. And the Warren brothers, who murdered their father for the inheritance. Who was it, Bella? Daddy. Hmm? Who'd you kill? It was a daddy. Your little sis, maybe. Mommy. Not after Christmas. Have a nice life. You know, whatever's left of it. <laughs> I'll take a little, take a lick too. Sam, let's go. Oh, what Sam, was... don't get sentimental now. Please. Our help. Well, now, how could a couple of serial killers possibly help you? Mm, that's I stupid. It's a bit harsh, I admit it, but it doesn't warrant a death sentence. That's not where you're going to die. What'd you do, Bella? You wouldn't understand. No one did. I'll just do what I've always done. I'll deal with it myself. You do realize you just sold the only thing that could save your life. I'm aware. Maybe not the only thing. Oh, Sam. Tell her to take a lick. A seance? Do you really think this is going to work? Almost definitely not. Better start reading. No, exorcism. As the old Castiel Le Mislos cray off it. Stay close! I read them quay from David. Prevention Angelo. Behind you. Behind you! Ministro Suos. Damn! Don inclinavitur in seculum seculi. A piece of sacred vestimentum amictus. Vestimentum amictus. Ationem. Precipio. Was that different incantation? Because. That sounds very different from when the demons. Oh. You hanged me. I'm sorry. Oh, he summoned his brother. Okay. Because I like that incantation song is so different. Brother. I'm so sorry. That was anticlimactic. You boys should learn to lock your doors. Anyone could just barge in. Anyone just did. You come to say goodbye or thank you? None. I've come to Cecil Affairs. Giving the spirit what he really wanted. His own brother. Very clever, Sam. It's 10,000. That should cover it. I don't like being in anyone's debt. So ponying up 10 grand is easier for you than a simple thank you? <laughs> wow. That says a lot about You're someone. So Goodbye, lads. No, that's crazy. You know, Dean, we don't know where this money's been. And? No. But I know where it's going. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Atlantic City? I know, that was, that was oh, that yeah. Atlantic City or Vegas he was what? going. Thinking, um, I want you to know I understand why you did it. I understand why you went after the crossroads demon. You know, situation was reversed. I guess I've done the same thing. I guess you would have. You know what you're going through with this whole deal. You're going away and all that. You're gonna be okay. You think so? 
Yeah, you keep hunting. You know, you live your life. You're stronger than me. You are. I don't want you to know I'm sorry. I'm sorry for putting you through all this. I am. You know what, Dean? Go screw yourself. Whoa. What? I don't want an apology from you. I want you and to. By the way, I'm a big boy now. I can take care of myself. Oh, well, excuse me. So would you please quit worrying about me? I mean, that's the whole problem in the first place. I don't want you to worry about me, Dean. I mm. want you to worry about you. I want mm. you to give a crap that you're dying. So that's it? Nothing else to say for you? How about Gabriel? I know. Okay. I Sam, you need to accept that. You need to accept that. Okay. Mm, I I don't. Mm, yeah, this was very anticlimactic kind of episode. It really was. It really was. It was cool to see Alex back because I did say when we first saw her that she's going to come back again because the type of work that she does, she will have to interact. She has to cross paths with the boys a couple times. So. It, but it left a very interesting um question who did she kill oh who did she allow to die i have a feeling it's a sibling it's it, if it's a, it's not a parent it's definitely a sibling i don't think it's a cousin because the way she reacted it was more to someone she would be closer to even though you can be close to cousins i feel like it's a sister and not a brother i don't feel it's a brother i feel like it's a sister or a parent that's that she allowed to be killed but that was interesting to learn um about her and it also it what screwed her over was when she said when um sam was looking for the motive she said who cares you see if you had learned what the motive was i guarantee you you would have had a you would have had a contingency plan but because you are just so money hungry and you just care for one thing and one thing only you never learn what the motive was and that's how you got yourself in trouble because i'm sure if you learn the motive was someone dying that oh you allowed to die you would have left way faster than you did then they're giddy that you got money but alex will be alex we know she's the money hunger of the the show <laughs> Gert, Gert was funny. Gert was funny. Gert Garden was in bloom. <laughs> if you watch Bridgerton, you can see, know why I keep saying that. It was in bloom, and she was ready for it to be fertilized and plowed. <laughs> Gert was funny, but yeah, this this episode was very anticlimactic for me. It was like, not, I don't want to use the word unnecessary, but it's very low on the scale of episodes for me i i was like it was good to see alex as much as she annoys me it was again she she fits we, because it was like it, it makes sense that you will have that type of person like human beings just amuse me because you know there's if there was supernatural things going on like what sam would do in real life there will be somebody who's profit all of it we know this we know this and then for her to she can't say thank you she can only give money as much as i was i was like yeah give me the money but it's weird that you can't say thank you just you just throw money around but hey um this was my least favorite episode the law everything didn't care for the episodes i just cared for alex the interaction between alex and the boys that's and gert gert mid episode but in terms of Again, we, we are back to square one with Sam and Dean. And Sam just needs to just not bring it up no more. You could do your little investigation to the side, but don't bring it up to Dean because we know you, you're you always going to get angry with his response. Because Dean is going to give you that nonchalant response that you're annoyed with. And act, and, and he's going to act like he's doing you the biggest favor by acting that way. So don't say that to Dean. So it, it, it just came back to around the boat with the boys again and there was nothing interesting anymore so yeah that's all i gotta say so with that being said if you enjoyed my reaction please remember to like the video hit that subscribe button leave a comment in the comment section guys a like a sub a comment a share of this video 
goes a long way in expanding this channel. And I thank you guys so much for your support. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.